Hi, beloved in the Lord, my name is Amy. This is Heavenly Host Vision Ways Lady. I'm so glad to welcome you to yet another prophetic word. May the Almighty God bless you and keep you safe, sound, and protected. You're about to taste it, and it's going to feel so good to you. You're about to taste it, and it's going to be so, so good to you. What you had not seen. What did you know? You didn't even feel like it. You didn't even understand it. Some of some of your life has been passing you by. And you felt like perhaps you will never be at peace. You will never be loved. You know, you, you will never be taken will be catered to. Life has been so passing you by. And you've been so far away from the blessings of God. You've been so far away from the beauty of God. From the life of Christ. From the glory of Christ. For so long, some of you have been so, so gloomy. And you, you could not even think past your capacity. You could not even think beyond, I mean, out of the box. You could not even improvise. On ways on how to improve on yourself or on how to elevate yourself to a certain standard. It's like your heart, your mind was focused on a particular school of thoughts, ideas, direction, people. But God is saying that those things have not served your highest good. Yes, the expiry date. For some things in your life is here. The expiry date for some people in your life is here. The expiry date for some situations in your life is here. And you are being redirected this moment to a new place, to a new um, situation, to new people, which you are about to encounter them anytime soon. They have already served their purpose in their lives and they were not supposed to be in your life at the time. <clears throat> That is why you are unable to evolve, to change. But change is coming. Whether you like it or not, God is the one that's bringing this change into your life. And he's removing some people this moment in your life. God is removing some, pe some people this moment because it's your time to experience a new life. And you cannot go into this new life with the same mindset that you've had. Or with the same people that have hindered you in time past. You cannot go into this new a territory and still thinking the same your mind has to be transformed God is saying that he's transforming your mind this moment and you know when you are going through a transformation period or a transformation season things don't seem to be right some of you are not feeling okay this moment some of you are feeling so cranky some of you are feeling like oh you're like you like you, you've lost the taste about certain situations, certain people, certain things in your life, and it just, just nothing seems to be nothing seems nice to you this moment. But God is saying that listen, that's a sign that your new level is here. That's a sign that you're about to taste the goodness of God in your life. As this is the time that you're about to, to see the goodness of God in your life. Psalm 34, verse 8 says, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Yes, you have been protected all along. You've been under the watchful eyes of the Most High God. And you trusted that he could change situations in your life. You trust that things could change, that things could turn for the better. You didn't give up. <clears throat> Even when you felt a system, you didn't give up. You didn't give up. And God is saying that this, this is the time. And you're about to taste his goodness. You're about to taste his goodness. Look, I beg your pardon. You're about to taste the goodness of God. And the goodness of God in your, in your life is just, it's not just coming to elevate you to the next level, but it's bringing new experiences in your life. New feelings. New taste. New understandings. New acquaintances. I mean, new visions. New revelations. Are you going to be feeling whole once again? 
You're going to be, re you'll be renewed, feeling so renewed once again. You're going to be feeling so, so beautiful, so nice, so calm. And, and, and I mean, just imagine, just imagine that things you'll never been, in, you know, have been renewed. You know, imagine when you go to a garden and you water flowers. And before you realize these flowers are blossoming, looking so fresh. That's the scene. And looking so fresh, producing bulbs. You're about to, you're, 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 you're sprouting forth this moment. You're springing forth this moment. Hallelujah. You're springing forth this moment to your new life. A life not just of peace, but of beauty, of grace. Yes, you are being given beautiful ashes in the name of our Lord and Savior, Yahushua Mashiach. This is a season that you're going to be like just so relaxed and being supernaturally rejuvenated in your being, in your thinking, in your thoughts. Things about you are just changing because it is time. It is timely. Things falling into your life. Things falling in place into your life. Pieces are falling together for you. Hallelujah. Pieces are falling into place for you. Before you were like so scattered, you try to, to bring some things to that, but you kept seeing, get feeling like as though things have been like scattering. You just kept like things kept going in an opposite direction. It's still gonna be happening again, beloved. Hallelujah. Things are changing and they are changing for the better. Things are changing and are changing for good for you this moment. Be glorious, be happy. Be expectant of God doing his work in your life. Be expectant of the grace of God working in your life to make sure that you are not left alone. To making sure that your world gets out to this season. It's your moment. It's your time. It is your time. Yes, I know we always say this is your time. This is your time. This is your time. But what has changed a whole lot is changing for you, whether you know it or not. A whole lot is changing for you, for the better. And you better be ready for it. You better be ready for it. Otherwise, things are going to bypass you. Things are going to pass you by. But my prayer for you this season is that nothing shall pass you by. You shall taste the, the blessings of God. You shall taste the beauty, the grace, the power, the light, the strength of God. <clears throat> you shall experience the compassion of God in your life this season. All things are working well for you. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Yahushua Mashiach. God bless you. I have been emulating. Stay calm. Stay strong. Be watchful. Continue to see yourself moving forward and forward and forward and backward never the world is looking up to you your acquaintances are looking up to you those the lord has entrusted in your care are looking up to you to be glorious to be strong and if they can't draw strength from you then you're not doing anything better they've got to draw strength not just superficial strength but divine strength from you that you tap from the heavenly places you are that so special, connected to God. You are directly connected to God. And those who come in contact with you can feel it. And they can benefit also from the grace that you are bringing to yourself from the heavenly places. Glory be to God. I love you so much. But Christ loves you even much more. You are about to taste it. Says Lord of Host, you are about to taste it. What are you going to taste? You are going to taste the goodness of God, the peace of God, the, the, re the revival. The strength of God. It's here. It's here. It has, it has always been here. Hallelujah. But someone needed to activate it. And as I'm speaking to this moment, it has been activated. And as you're watching me this moment, you're, you're, you're coming into the grace. Hallelujah. You're coming into the grace of all things being revived for your sake, for your well-being. Glory to God. Thank you so much. And... See you in the next video. Glory.